This is Sean Fillion, Program Director for the MPSL Lighting Design Program at New York School of Interior Design, here with a dynamic block demonstration for AutoCAD. Uh, as lighting designers, we often work with uh, similar types of symbols. Here are some standard symbols drawn out uh, for AutoCAD. And at the bottom, we have dynamic blocks. I want to talk about what these are. Uh, so a, dyna a dynamic block allows you to modify or change um, the shape of the, uh, the block itself. For example, this could be a, uh, a pendant which we scale. So if you want it to be a three-foot pendant versus a very small pendant, it's a simple change. Uh, a little bit more complicated here, this is a linear slot. Uh, it could allow you, or it could be a pendant, uh, a linear pendant as well. You can adjust the rotation of this pendant. Uh, it's currently set up to be four inches in, di uh, in width. So I can change that to be a six inch width or a uh, two inch width. I can also change the length of this to be a much longer continuous run. Uh, another element of a dynamic symbol is adding block attributes. So if I double click this, LX is my default for the uh, luminaire type, but I can update these to be L1. I can al also add a zone. Uh, so I often leave the zone blank unless I know I'm doing uh, zoning diagrams. Now I've made a couple different uh, uh, dynamic blocks here. We, you know, we have down lights which can be rotated, we've got a, a cove which we can stretch out, um, but we still have a few more that we could build that don't yet exist. So how about we do a, uh, let's just do a simple square down light. I'm going to start by editing, uh, this is a 5 inch, let's actually use the 4 inch uh, square. I'm going to change this simple 4 inch square down light into a dynamic block. Dynamic blocks use parameters and actions. Um, parameter tells you the, the adjustments that you may want to make. Uh, we want to be able to rotate this square and scale it. So first we're going to start with a rotation parameter find the middle of the square and let's set the the angle to one side that blue circle is essentially the point that we will grab to change it uh, then the action I'm going to want to rotate uh, following the command line I will sec the, select the parameter of rotate first and then it's asking me to select the object and uh, we're all set let's add one other parameter I want to be able to scale this. I'm going to choose the linear parameter. And in this case, I'll, I'll go up rather than to the side. Um, we'll put the label over here. The action in this case will be scale. The parameter is the, um, the linear array. And the object, so the linear parameter is linear stretch. Then we are going to choose to scale the object. All right. The last thing I want to do is add attribute definitions. Those are the labels. I'm going to pick the RCP labels for my uh, layer. If you click attribute definition, it allows you to enter the information. I'm going to put device label first. Uh, the prompt I like to give myself is luminaire type. And I usually put LX as my default. X is something I tend to need to fill in later. Um, so it's a good prompt for myself. And we're going to add one more attribute definition for zone. The prompt will be zone. In this case, I'm going to leave my default blank, since often I'm, I'm doing my layouts before I'm doing zoning intent diagrams. And I don't want to have to delete out the zoning. Now, I don't always want these two to be located on the bottom right of the fixture. So the last thing I'm going to do is add a, a parameter to move the labels. The parameter I'll use is point. I'll put the position there. The action will be move. Select the point. And then for the objects, I want both parts of the label. Finally, I want to save this block as, uh, we'll call this dynamic square downline. Now this instance was the older one. I'm going to insert my new block that I've created.
when you place this new instance it gives you the option to add the luminaire type so we can say LO1 you can also add a zone if you know what zone you'd want let's make sure it worked I should be able to rotate my block and scale it and move the label that has been a demonstration of dynamic blocks